In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a graphic like this using PowerPoint 2010 and the SmartArt function. So let's get started. I'm going to start by showing you a PDF that came with a new product from Justin Popovich called Dealing with Difficult People. And you actually get the Word document in the product. I think it's in the upsell. But I want to take this model and make it something a little more colorful and its own image that I can use for sharing or for even the cover or any other enhancement to the product. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see the model better and we can sort of t get the wording. And I'm going to open up PowerPoint 2010. And you start out with this slide with the title and stuff. That's what it comes with. And we're going to change that to a blank slide. And the first thing we're going to do is insert Smart Art. You can see in the top ribbon here there's something called Smart Art. And it's going to give you a whole bunch of different choices. You can see on the side here there's list, process, cycle, hierarchy, all different things you can choose based on the type of graphic you want to create. And let's just scroll through and see some of them here. Here, actually, here's the one that looks just like Justin. So let's insert that. And there it goes. And now we can start filling in our text. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger since there's a lot of text to put in. And the way you can enter text most easily is to click these little arrows on the side. And it shows up right here where you can enter. This text, the high level one, you can see it's suddenly highlighted this box. So you can tell that the text is going to be this part right here. I don't know if you can see. Here, I'll start typing so you can see. If you look over at the model, you see that bit says, get it done, want things my way. So let's type that in, get it done. I'm going to say my way. So you can edit the words however you want. Obviously, you don't have to do it the same way. And then the next bit of text, you see I've clicked on the bullet that's indented, is going to be this one up here that says text. And that says, there's three different bullets there, so I can just say big bully, and if you just click on enter, it'll go to the next line and give you that option, ambush artist, and know it all. And again, you don't have to put in all the text. Here it says know it all non-listener. You can edit that however you want. So I'm just going to pause the video and fill in the rest of the text. Okay, so now I've filled in all the rest of the text using these bullet points on the side. And remember, indented is going to show you one part of it. So like here's deep, deep freeze. It's showing me exactly where the text is going to go. And then the higher indent shows me where that part goes. So then you can close this up by clicking the X. Now you have all the words, you can just play around with it a bit. So you can make it bigger, smaller, just highlight the boxes, maybe make that bigger, and this bigger. Whatever you want to do, you can play with the uh, font sizes in here by just highlighting them and going up into your ribbon at the top, clicking on Home, and just maybe making that a bit bigger. And same with all the rest of them. Here, I'll just do that quickly so you can see and make that bigger and make this one a bit bigger. I can make the box longer so that it so that it shows more. So just play around with that however you want to do. Um, and then move it over so it shows. Now we want to add some color to this. So all you have to do is click on the box wherever you want to change the color. So this is highlighting that piece of the pie. And then you can go up into Quick Styles. I always like using that. And pick any of these to change the color or the style. You can also go into the Fill over here and change it. And it'll show you what it's going to look like. I like using the Quick Styles. So let's pick a couple different ones that look good. So there's red, and maybe make this one um, a green, and this one a different one to make it colorful. Say this, uh, let's not do blues next to each other, have an orange, and then I'll leave that one blue. And again, you can make these bigger by just going up to this 
arrow at the top, you see where you can say increase font size quickly. Just click on that until it gets to where you, the way you want it. I'll do that for the rest as well. So we've got some color there. Now in this one, in Justin's, we have this dealing with difficult people image in the middle. And that would come, the e-cover would come with the product, which obviously I don't have because it's not on sale yet. So let's put something else in so that you can see how that works. Right now it has these arrows in the middle. I don't really want those because this isn't a cycle. So I'm going to cover them up with a box. So you can do insert, and let's see how about a shape and pick something maybe just a box of some sort and I can highlight where I want it let's put it right there it can be any color you want also you could change that also by going into the home and again you get these quick styles and other designs and fills you could do so I could just pick something light like that. And now we need to put an image in there. So we're going to go into insert. If you had the e-cover from the product you could just find that and insert picture. But I'm going to pick some smart art and uh, I put in the word angry so let's see what we come up with. So there it comes up with all these cute characters, these funny characters. So let's see what we can find that would look good. Here I like this one. Let's put this in. See it already inserted it, so let's close that so we can see it. And you can play around with the sizing on this, either with the box. Let's make the box a little bit bigger and center it. See the line there? And let's center that in here. That'll do for now. You can play around with that, obviously. And let's see what's left. We have pictures, we have words. You can play with the shading here if you want as well. Maybe put a little bit of light shading on it to match up with everything else. And if you see, the color from the previous one is already highlighted in the shape fill. So it'll keep whatever you did last. So I'm going to fill that in. And finally, I need to add this text to the top that says task focused and people focused. So if you want to put in something pretty, you go to insert and we're gonna let's see what options we have here word art and let's pick one that looks good how about this one it's inserted it right in the middle here you can't really see so I'm gonna move it up because we want it up at the top and we've got the first one is task focused task focused and that's a little bit too big because we need room for the other words as well. So I will again go back to home and decrease the size and move that again so that it's centered. And let's pick a color that is more similar to another color in here. So here's the colors, the font colors. Let's pick one. See how it says theme colors? Those are the ones that are going to work best. So let's pick red and I'm going to copy that by highlighting the whole thing. When you have that crosshairs there you can highlight the whole thing and click Control C. Click somewhere on the image and click Control V to copy it. And I'm going to move that over. And if you notice something, when I clicked on that to move it, see how that little dotted line shows up? That shows that it's centered with the thing next to it, the object next to it. So I'm going to put that in and change it to people focused. And then that's it. We have this nice image that we can share and use with other things. Obviously I'd play with it more and maybe make the fonts bigger. But now the only thing left to do is to save it as an image. So we go into File, Save As, and I want to obviously have saved it as a presentation so I can go back and change it. So you, you do want to change it as, save it as PowerPoint. But to make an image you just click on this down arrow, save as type, and scroll down until you see JPEG or PNG. Both of those will be images. I like to do PNG because it makes it a higher resolution. And then you want to give it a name. I actually have one here already. So I'll just make it two 
and click Save. And it'll, it's going to say, do you want to export every slide in the presentation or only the current slide? We're going to do current slide only to just make this one thing an image. So I click on current slide. Now let's close up everything and open that up so that you can see. Whoops, it still wants me to save that. So let me just shrink that down. And we're going to open up the image. And there it is. All done. I can see that needs some editing. And again, you can. I'm going to put the link below this video if you're interested in Justin's new product on dealing with difficult people. That's where you'd find the support material for this with the ebook. So I hope that helps and you can go off and make some nice graphics with PowerPoint 2010 and using any content you have in existing or in PLR.